remains of an ancient settlement were found on the top of Mount Malmason, dating from around the 3rd or 2nd century BC. Burial sites were also found on Mounts Avril and Artsanda, dated 6,000 years old. Some authors identify the old settlement of Bilbao as a Manun Porches, cited by Pliny the Elder, or with Flavio Briga, by Ptolemy. Ancient walls, which date from around the 11th century, have been discovered below the church of San Antone. Bilbao was one of the first towns founded in the 14th century, during a period in which approximately three-quarters of the Biscayne cities were developed, among them Portugalate in 1323, Andorroa in 1327, Lecatio in 1335, and Munja and Larabetsu in 1376. Diego López V. de Haro, then third lord of Biscay, founded Bilbao through a municipal charter dated in Valladolid on June 15, 1300 and confirmed by King Ferdinand IV of Castile and Burgos, on January 4, 1301. Diego López established the new town on the right bank of the Nervian River, on the grounds of the Elizabeth Begonia and granted it the Fuero of Logroño, a compilation of rights and privileges that would prove fundamental to its later development. In 1310 Maria Diaz I de Haro, niece of Diego López V and Lady of Biscay, grants a new municipal charter to the city, which extends its commercial privileges even further, transforming the city in a mandatory stop for all the trade coming from Castile towards the sea. This second charter established that the road from Orduña to Bermeo, at the time the most important trade route in the lordship, had to traverse the San Antone Bridge in Bilbao instead of the pass in Echeverry, as it did until then. This strengthened the position of Bilbao as a trading post, in detriment of Bermeo, city which until then had acted as the main port of the territory. In addition, Bilbao was granted exclusive rights to all trade between the city and Las Arenas. In 1372, John I of Castile strengthened even more the city's position by naming Bilbao a free port and granting it special privileges concerning the trade of iron. This caused Bilbao to become an important port, particularly due to its trade with Flanders and Great Britain. In 1443 the Church of St. Anthony the Great was enshrined, having been built in the place of an old Alcazar. Still today the church is one of the oldest extant buildings of the city. On September 5, 1483, the Queen Isabella I of Castile traveled to Bilbao to swear fealty to the Fueros of Biscay. Her husband, Ferdinand II of Aragon had already done so in 1476 in Guernica. On June 21, 1511, Queen Joanna of Castile ordered the creation of the Consulate of the See of Bilbao. This would become the most influential institution of the borough for centuries, and would claim jurisdiction over the estuary, improving its infrastructure. Under the consulate's control, the port of Bilbao became one of the most important of the kingdom. The first printing press was brought to the town in 1577. Here in 1596, the first book in the Basque language was edited, entitled Doctrina Christiana en Romance e Basquens by Dr. Batolaza. In 1602 Bilbao was made the capital of Biscay, a title previously held by Bermeo. Around 1631, the city was the scenario of a series of revolts against the increased taxation on salt, which had been ordered by the crown, an event locally known as the Machinata of the Salt. The revolt ended with the execution of several of its leaders. The city had seen a continuous increase of its wealth, especially after the discovery of extensive iron deposits in the surrounding mountains, and by the end of the century it managed to overcome the economic crises that affected the rest of the kingdom, thanks in part to the increased trading of wool, and to the iron ore and its commerce with England and the Netherlands.